Thanks guys, I'm here on the CU campus where students spend countless hours every day in the library, in the classrooms, or even on the streets involved in some form of social media. And now, more than ever, with government trying to impose new sanctions, this could directly affect how students are communicating with one another. Somebody's life on a social networking page is a lot more, you know, it's, it's a more robust way to look at somebody's life than, uh, you know, selections of their email. I mean, I know I'm on Facebook all the time talking to my friends from home and from camp and even like around Boulder to try and like communicate with them. When Facebook went down for like a half hour last week, everyone was freaking out and like didn't know what to do with themselves. And so now I think it's kind of become a dependence and people like count on it to see into the lives of their friends and make sure they know what's going on around them. If anything, industry has primed us to, to, um, to live with the idea of surveillance. Think about the kinds of information that can be garnered from that, right? Precise, you know, more or less precise GPS locations, time of day, right, uh, name of place. What better way to tap into somebody's life than to, um, than to piggyback onto the efforts of the industry? Um, especially social networking industries. With Facebook and other social media sites becoming so prevalent in our society, it's definitely something that students will want to watch out for in the upcoming elections. I'm Rachel Fisher, News Team Boulder.